Hello and welcome to Coaster Strike. My name is Tom, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build Basilisk, RMC's version of the rare but exciting RMC single rail. There are only two of these on the planet, although more seem to be expected soon. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso was the first in Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, and one month later was Royal Blazer at California's Great America. A few are under construction currently, whether they exist when you're watching, I don't know, but without any current POVs, I'm not going to include them. The existing two are mirrored layouts, so which one it's based on is kind of irrelevant. I personally prefer the version of Royal Blazer, but that's kind of weird since they're the same. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Choose a designated area for your coaster, and place the station facing outwards, a few meters away from the edge and create a small section of drive tire track leading out and up into the chain lift. Build the chain lift up to about 100 feet. Both of these coasters have a little section of turn track at the top, which takes you into the area with most of the layout. Now take the section of track into a steep dive using very short pieces of track which you'll want to smooth out later. As it reaches the flat, bring it up almost as high as the first drop and into an Immelman loop. If you don't know what that is, it goes like this. It's super simple. You rise up, roll to the side, and half loop back down. Then take this into a few sharp turns with lots of height variation, and then into some sort of zero-g moment, be that a stool or a roll. Add in a few more sharp turns, maybe with a helix somewhere in the mix, and then another inversion, stool or roll, a few slower turns into a sloped brake run. To connect the station to the track, may, you may want to extend the station a bit, and then use drive tyres to get near to the brake run. Connect the two and spend a while smoothing it out until it's a seamless transition. As usual, I didn't film the theming or any smoothing or adding any extra sections because that's kind of boring to watch, but uh, here's the final product. Uh, I hope you like it. Unfortunately, I lost the file. So after making all of this, I came upstairs to edit it, and I went back down to upload it to the workshop, and it was gone. So I'm sorry, that's a bit of a shame. I only recently announced that we'd be uploading everything we created to the workshop, but um, unfortunately I can't with this one. But, you know, that was just a rookie mistake, uh, and all others, I promise, will be available for download afterwards. But without any further ado, let's have a ride. Uh, I'll quickly go over some few, a few more little tips just to get the little bits right, but um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. So for a queue, I'm not entirely sure because there's no footage of one in real life, but I assume it's quite compact since Raptors are like a compact, cheap blueprint for smaller parks uh, that RMC created. So just have something small, folding, like we've got here. Uh, and then theming wise, if you're trying to be realistic, don't worry too much. A bit of terrain work around some dips to provide head chopper moments is all you really need. That's what they've got in real life. But um, yeah, there you go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and can fill those small spaces in your park with a neat, realistic basilisk coaster. But, but otherwise, I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.